we have some comedians up here from the city, some heavy hitters that stop through. I got my mans who came from out of town in the back. He gonna give y'all a show, y'all gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do after we take a little five to 10 minute break. All right, y'all, we gonna keep this show rolling. I want y'all to start clapping your hands right now for the comedy of Flavius, Activist, Maximus. Give it up for me, y'all. All right, man. All right, what's good, people? Peace to everybody who stuck around. Fuck you to everybody who left. That was some very anti-black shit. Um, first of all, I want to say I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. Um, I want you to give it up for your hosts, uh, Black Thought and Young Jeezy. Uh, all right, I came with my beard uh, to do my Philly thing. So I was going to talk about my yabba dabba do ass roommate that I have uh, in New York, but this brother kind of inspired me with mushrooms, so I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it a little bit. So um, my homie told me that I had finally made it when I had insulted a white woman with my comedy. He said, Flav, you finally made it. And so I'll tell you the joke that I told him. You can tell me if uh, she should have felt insulted. So first of all, I was scouring the internets. I was, I was on the gram, looking at the Instagram, and this white woman was complaining about nonchalant niggas. So I immediately felt attacked. I, I immediately felt insulted. Now, to tell you the truth, she didn't use the word nigga, but I did feel, I did feel insulted on behalf of the nonchalant community. So I went home, I took a long look in the mirror, and I asked myself, am I a nonchalant nigga? Am I the indica of niggas? <laughs> because truthfully, I long to be the sativa of niggas. So let me tell you a nonchalant story that happened to me uh, last year. I was on a date with this woman. She was a seven. I was happy to be there. She was out of my league. I was on my Virgo shit. Uh, I wasn't showing my feelings. You know, I was keeping my cards uh, hidden. And it went great. It was a coffee date. I do great on those. She asked me for a second date. I decided we should turn all the way up for the second date and do mushrooms. Now, I wanted to do a macro amount of mushrooms. But she peer pressured me into doing more than a macro amount of mushrooms. And the nonchalant nigga in me said, fuck it, let's see where this goes. So I thought I killed it. I thought I knocked it out of the park. I got two phone calls the next day. First phone call, she told me she got robbed on the way home. You see, she was doing the strong, alcoholic, white woman thing and had to walk me to the train to make sure that I got home safe. Little did she know, I hopped my ass in an Uber. I wasn't about to be tripping balls in the East Village trying to get all the way back to Brooklyn. I might have ended up in the Bronx somewhere getting my ass kicked by the Warriors. I wasn't about to do that. Second thing she told me was at one point during the date, I stopped communicating and I just kept beatboxing. Now, if you've ever done mushrooms, it's a creative drug. It's a hell of a drug. But apparently women don't like it when you don't communicate traditionally. So I said, don't make me over now that I do anything for you. Respect me for what I am. She didn't respect me, y'all. She didn't respect me, so I had to cut her off. And then I took it a step further, and then I gave up white woman for Lent. But white woman, don't worry. Lent is over. I'm back out there, and I'm loving every minute of it. Black woman, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about you. I love your history. I love your thickness. I love your cocoa butter smell. But if you see me out there with a white woman, don't play or hate. Congratulate. Don't beat us when you could join us, because we could be a multi-ethnic, multicultural family, because at the end of the day, probably want a cracker. All right, y'all, my name is Flavius Activist Maximus. Peace. Y'all give it up.